Hey, what's up, guys? It's L3 here, and surprise, surprise, I got some more Assassin's Creed Brotherhood gameplay for you. And surprise again, I'm playing some Assassinate. Woo! And today, guys, I just want to talk about me being a freaking lemur. I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but in this match, I am just the biggest lemur in in the world. Like, uh, shout out to Zabumafu right now. There goes my childhood, right there. Yeah. If you haven't watched Zabu Zabumafu or whatever, haven't seen it forever. Shame on you, because that was like the best show ever. Just it was it was amazing. So anyway, we're gonna get that little skanky girl, just some poison real quick. So I sit there and watch her like a pedophile. And guys, I do pretty good in this match, uh, you know. And I'm playing ranked. I've been playing a lot more of ranked lately, and there's a reason for that. I haven't played that much of ranked as you've probably seen by uh, most of my matches, because I never really thought to play it too much. I didn't really see a point in it. But now I, I just remember the whole Templar grade pyramid thing. So over the past two weeks, I've been playing a lot of ranked matches and been having a lot of fun with that. I actually hopped from rank. It was a pretty big difference. I think I was thirteen thousand to right now I'm one thousand and thirty-eight, I believe, in one week. So it's a pretty big difference, and. I'm going to hop up even more this week, which will be tomorrow, or it might be today. I'm not sure when it updates. Whenever the new Templar Pyramid updates, I'm going to hop up even more. And guys, my goal is to be the top 100 before Assassin's Creed Revelations. That would be amazing, because I did not play a lot of this ranked mode, like I said. I wish I did, but, you know, now I'm trying to get back into it. It's a while before Assassin's Creed Revelations goes out, so I think that's a pretty realistic goal. But we'll see how it goes, and... If you guys are on the Xbox and you can check out the leaderboard, then just, uh, you know, check it out and root for me. <laughs> so we're playing uh, Rabuscus here, by the way. He likes to uh, hop into my game sometimes and play a game or two. For Usually he likes to play one-on-ones, which I'm not the biggest fan of, really, but I still like to still like to do one-on-ones every now and then. That's more competitive tournament play, and I haven't been playing a lot of tournaments like I thought I was going to because most of them are on the PS3. So I am going to be picking this game up for the PS3 soon because my Blockbuster has it for I believe fifteen dollars or something like that. It's 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 a really good price and it's not scratched or anything. So be able to pick it up for the PS3, play with some PS3 players, and you know hopefully compete in some tournaments would be a, a lot of fun. So hopefully we we'll get some footage of that later on. But yeah, Assassin's Creed Revelations, guys, I'm so pumped about it. I'm sure you've heard a lot about it if you're a big Assassin's Creed fan. But if you haven't, maybe I kind of give you up to date of what I know or what I think I know. So don't take anything to be official because, of course, things could change. If you've seen the beta of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood and how it was played and then you see the actual game now, you can, say, you can tell it was really different. So if a beta comes out for Assassin's Creed Revelations, chances are the... Final version is going to be way different, which I'm not going to complain because they know what they're doing. They know how to make a good game, regardless if a huge fan base plays it or not. But anyway, I, I imagine the first week or so that uh, the server is going to be pretty flooded. It's going to be pretty interesting. So what I know is, right now your meter, not in this particular mode, but I wanted, you know how your meter, meter starts full. It's a, a full meter. Well, it starts halfway in the other game. And this kind of... It kind of discourages getting on the roof because your meter can't go up unless you get hit and kills. So it'll always stay in the middle unless you get hit and kills, like I said, or silent kills. So running around getting on the rooftops, that's going to be discouraged. So what does that mean for me and the people that are really big Assassin's Creed players right now? I think a lot of people are pumped about that. They, they're like, wow, I'm so excited. Unfortunately, there is a downside to everything, and I did kind of want to address it. The downside to that is, right now the game is already a little bit complicated for some people who play it. That's the that's the biggest turnoff for them is they're they're scared that they don't know how to play it. That's why people don't play Assassinate. I find now that it's going to be a little bit more complicated to understand, and I'm really afraid that there's going to be less people playing it than this one. We'll see how it turns out. Of course, it's just uh, you know I'm just guessing. It's, it's nothing official, but I really hope that a lot of more people get into Revelations. It'd be it'd be nice to. To, you know, play with some unfamiliar uh, faces because I do play with the top 10 on the free-for-all leaderboards. I forgot to mention before, I am going to the, the top 100 on the free-for-all uh, leaderboards, not the whole global thing. Because the global just really racks up on points and honestly, I don't, I can't play it all day just to get points. So just on the, just on the free-for-all bracket, I'm trying to be on the top 100. But on the free-for-all bracket, I do play with the top 10 players a lot, or the top 30 at least. I can I can name almost all of them off. Uh, the first one's Maniac Dragon Fang on, um, on the Xbox leaderboards. And then there's like people like Nick Nitrous, Immortal Compass. And I really hope Nick Nitrous is actually watching this video. I would laugh a lot because I was playing him in Assassinate and a couple other people, obviously. 
for about two or three matches and eventually he got fed up with me me and him kept getting into rivalries he picked a harlequin i believe and i was the priest and this is such a good kill right here just hiding behind there and i knew it was him so i decided to pop up and get the aerial right there but anyway we we're playing a match on alhambra which is you know not if you know what it is it's a very huge map not not very well yeah you know i guess it's well designed but just it's not for me either way but we're playing that and uh i actually make him rage quit so <laughs> that was a pretty good thing and i sent him a message saying hey dude you rock because he is really good for sure i did want to kind of let him know that he is really good but unfortunately he did rage quit which which i think is hilarious i think i think maybe some of us do i i know i rage quit from time to time not not a lot but there's those moments where i'm just pissed off and i'm thinking wow there's really no point for me to go on because i'm end up tearing a hole in my wall or just or something like that so i end up just quitting because i do find it easier you know, just easier to be like that so another thing about assassin's creed revelations is supposedly there's some way you're able to defend yourself against uh uh, what am I trying to say? To defend yourself against assassinations. Obviously, in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, you, the priority is kills. So, if you're going to stun someone and they're going to kill you, they automatically have the priority. You know, they have the advantage. So, you you got to use be defensive about it if you know you're being pursued. And the next one, supposedly, there's some way you're going to be able to defend yourself a little bit more. So, I don't know how that's going to work. It's going to be interesting to see how it plays. But of course, if some beta comes out, I'm going to try everything in my power to get into that beta like a fat kid getting into a coconut cake because I'll, i want to play it i just i really really want to play it's sad that i'm already pumped for a revelations and so far away i wish i kind of wish the teaser trailer wasn't out already because seeing that and seeing the teaser trailer and seeing the multiplayer it just oh man it, it's way too much for me to handle it's just the awesome levels over 9000 i think so oh yeah it's gonna be pretty good <laughs> but another thing about assassinate is you know you pretty much guarantee you, you know, watching my gameplay, you kind of understand a little bit how it's played and all that. But I, I typically, from now on, I try to go to people that are either by themselves or I let two people fight it out because very rarely are you going to actually be able to get the advantage when you have two people. Often, uh, more often than not, you're going to get stunned and then poisoned and then steal your kill. So un unless you're really good about it. But like I said, for me, just targeting one person at a time, it, it, it helps so much more than going in a group. Because going in a group, I, I, I in particular feel like I'm at a disadvantage. Some people can go beast mode and do it. Me, my advantage is just go solo, go to one uh, person at a time and just, you know, get that poison. Because in competitive gameplay or really just like in ranked matches poison is the way to go it's it's so obvious that you have to because that's just the money maker right there you automatically get 300 maybe more for the uh, oh i'm a lemur oh hold on watch this leap off the wall something i actually figured out which is cool if you're hanging from a wall you can actually leap further than you could if you're actually on top of the rooftop so that's kind of a little myth that I found out that's busted and really, really helps out a lot. I'm doing a commentary in here. I'm, Mom, I'm doing a commentary. Jesus. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave her again. So, yeah, there's that doctor. Yeah, you know what? She came in here to get some freaking pillows. Wow, Mom, way to ruin my commentary. I'm going to keep rolling with it because, I mean, damn. I don't got time for this. <laughs> so, yeah, like I said, the poison, just 100 points. Uh, not 100 points. What am I talking about? The poison's awesome in this game for ranked matches, but I hope it gets nerfed. That's that's one thing I hope really gets nerfed in the next game because it's far too uh, far too common of an ability and far too big of a, a you know, racking up points. And, uh, you know, honestly, just th there could be some other abilities. It's From right now, it seems like they're able to even it out, and if they keep leveling the abilities and you know make it just make it fair more it's already fair but if they make it kind of i don't know just uh you know encourage you more to use other abilities that would be great so yeah and uh you know guys we've got about 45 seconds left and wow i i just i did pretty good in this match you know shout out to zabumafu again because wow he just inspired my lemur abilities <laughs> i think evil will uh willshire by the way he just killed me there's pretty high on the leaderboards uh, i want to say in the top 20 or something like that i don't know but it's very interesting to be able to be paired up with the top 10 or you know whatnot because they know what they're doing they know exactly what they're doing and it's uh it's good to be able to hold my ground from time to time 
And I do got a couple of matches with uh, some of those players where it's very, very close, very heated. Sometimes I get second, sometimes I get third, sometimes I get first even. But it's still a lot of fun. keeps me on the edge of my seat. And I always enjoy a good challenge, always. And always, you just go for the last kill right there. Yes, uh, finally, some good points right at the end. <laughs> so guys, uh, that's Assassinate for you. We pretty much nailed it first as usual. And you can see uh, that, you know... I'm doing pretty good right there for my uh, rank session, but I do have some points higher than that actually. So as always guys, thanks for watching.